Ooh. Oh, the music. She got some balls. Hello and welcome back to Cinema Rules. My name is Sean, and for those of you that know me and know this channel, uh, you'll find that there is a little bit of a different setup today. The reason being is Tom is not here. Now, Tom not being here, there is a legitimate answer for that and a legitimate reason. Tom has just had a baby. So, round of applause, congratulations to Tom and his and his wife. Now, it isn't Tom that has had the baby, although he might look like he was pregnant in the previous videos, it was not him, it was it's physically impossible for him to have a baby. <laughs> I'm, I'm bad by all of them, I'm having banter with him when he's not even here, which is bad. But he will still be part of this channel, he will still take part in videos, however they will be few and far between as he has other responsibilities of course. So in the meantime you will see videos in which he will be present and videos where it will just be me. And for those that are worried I will try uh, my best to entertain, to be informative about the things that we will be watching uh, on this channel going moving forward. I'll try and be as entertaining and, well, I'll just be try, I'll just try to be as entertaining as possible. Uh, you know, stick around, see if you like it. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Things will be different. However, I want to keep this channel alive. I want to keep the schedule for you guys to make sure that you guys still have this high quality entertainment. And you will notice that on this particular video, it's a different setup, but it's actually a better quality setup. I've got my mic here, I've got my proper uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, some better quality video and audio, I hope, simply because it's easier for me uh, to provide that type of quality here at my own home. So, so those of you will be wondering what we're watching, and today I wanted to start a TV show that I have been very intrigued about. Now, it's called Arcane, I believe and it's based on the video game League of Legends, which I have personally not played. However, just look by looking at the trailer of this show, this Netflix original, I am very interested in checking it out, uh, simply because of the art direction, the animation, just looks very well made. So I'm very intrigued, and who knows, maybe by the end of this I'll be very interested to play the game League of Legends. Those of you that are watching probably are fans of League of Legends, so let me know down in the description below whether you've watched this show before, and whether you have any thoughts on it. I'll be very intrigued to see what your opinions are for, from those people that are very close to this source material, and do not forget forget that these uh, videos will be uploaded onto our um, Patreon page early for early access, so if you want to check out the reactions for those early, check the link out in the description below. I will also be posting full length uh, reaction videos where you can watch along with me on the Patreon page as well, so check those out. In the meantime, however, I think this intro has gone on long enough, let's get into episode 1 of Arcane. See, this is what intrigued me about the trailers. Atmospheric. It's quite a different animation you're used to seeing. Isn't it? Oh man, this editing is insane. For those of you that don't know, I have never played the game, so I am going in fresh. Don't know who anyone is. What's going on? We've got blue hair girl. Red hair. Is that a girl? Oh, the music. This guy seems good. The animation is incredible. I love it. It's so smooth. Oh, no. Is that supposed to be their mother? There's so much emotion already in the animation. You don't even know. The, I don't even know who these characters are, and I feel it. No, oh, that's gonna be a revenge story, isn't it? Who are they? Well, if there was ever to be an intro to an animated TV show about a game, a game adaptation, that is gonna have to do it for, for me. 
So that was the place that she was looking at at the end. So what happened back then and what's happened since? Like, is it like a political thing? Just don't look down. Don't look down. How can you not? Okay. Now oh, she's looking down. She's oh, looking down. This is Easy. Oh. It seems to be a little bit of a blur in the animation. Not motion blur, but like just a haze, a blur. Maybe they're trying to go for some bokeh. I don't know. It's a bit weird. This is exactly the sort of job Vander would have pulled when he was our age. Vander. Is that the guy that picked him up at the I'm going. beginning? Oh, there's tons of enforcers down there. Means we're in the right place. Enforcers. Get that door open those are the people that were killing everyone at the start. Mm. Look like Beyblades. Beyblades back in the day. Let them rip. I offer anything that looks valuable, Powder. Before Milo fills the bag with junk. So they're just stealing. Is that it? They're not really finding anything in particular. The art is so different. I haven't seen this before, and, and I'm not that much into anime. So if you guys know anime and know any shows that are of a similar style, let me know, because I, I do like it. So one of those things were in, were in that thing that, they, that was on the desk. What is it? Everyone who's played the games is just just knows everything probably. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> what the hell's going on with that? Oh my god. What? Oh shit! It's very weird because the smoke is like very Disney 2D Disney style. So is that blue thing? Is that like a some almost like a like a fuel thing for like a uh, for weaponizing certain things? Like you add it like to a gun and it could control it somehow. Oof. Okay, those are the enforcers. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Oh, easy for them as well. <laughs> oh. oh, I hope none of them get captured. Man, not again. I just got this shirt. <laughs> oh. Just a taste? Just. Oh. Yes. Oh, this animation is slick. Oh, you're subjecting the youngling <laughs> to violence. Oh. 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 Oh, damn. Out all right after A little bit all. toe poke. <gasps> Wait. She got some balls. <laughs> damn. I wish I was cool enough to go up to a, a guy that had a knife and was like, do you want to see how that ends? It ends with you dying, for those that don't know. She just made a bloody nail bomb. No. Oh. oh, how deep is that river? Like, surely you could go and find it, get it. Damn. An underworld. So much copywriting on this TV series Because of the music 
I bet a, l a lot of the gamers will get the references of seeing all these different things. Oh, there's the guy that was at the start. The bartender. Ooh. Oh, I'll take the knife and slash at your throat. Slash! Slash! Ooh, this guy, metal fists. You don't want to that guy off. Don't threaten the guy who pours the drinks. <laughs> so you're a Vanda. Vanda. And I'll let you walk out of here in one piece. Sheet her eyes. Welcome to the lanes. <laughs> Interesting. Four children fleeing the scene. What the hell parents will always find out. Get so comfortable living in someone else's shadow. Oh, seems like Vander is scared about the North because of what happened, but she doesn't fully realize it. She wants revenge. Yeah, I know. Whatever happens, it's on you. This, it's not going to solve your problems. Hmm. It just makes more of them. Good lesson. You did put that idiot on his ass, though. Right. Of course. Where is her name, Arcane? <gasps> she still has one. Is her name Arcane? I don't know. There's a bunch of things Powder just can't do. Yeah, of course her name's not. Of course she's not Arcane. Powder. Ugh. You know what this animation and art style reminds me of? For some reason, it reminds me of Treasure Planet. Now, I don't. I can't really remember Treasure Planet, I haven't seen it in a while, but from what I can remember, it's quite similar. Either that, or um, Sea of Thieves, the game. There's worse things than enforcers out there. We both know that. Is he talking about himself? Oh, crap. These enforcers. I'm nervous. Evening, friends. Why do they wear the masks? Listen, you shady son of a bitch. You go for a little walk, Marcus. Cool off a bit. Yeah, he has no idea what he's doing. It's <laughs> Does the air just really down there? I'm assuming it is. That workshop belonged to the Kernels. You know what kind of stuff they had in there? Makes this place look like a candy shop. I'm sorry, Grayson, but I can't offer up my own people. He would never do it, but fuck, prevent an army from coming down. So she likes to make what are you calling this one? bombs. It's a nice hobby. Oh, I forgot. These were in my pocket. They're from oh yeah, they weren't in the bag. What are they? And I wonder if this is an original story or is this like something that's actually in the game? No idea. Oh. It's definitely Sea of Thieves type of art. What the f is that? You were supposed to follow them and not interfere. It was their fault! The explosion in the upper city. Who is that? Keep him off the streets. Oh. Feeding time. What? Oh no. Feeding time's gonna be for the rat, isn't it? Oh damn. What did that just turn into? Someone just volunteered. Oh, is that boy going to be turned into whatever that rat just turned into? Okay, so that was my reaction to 
episode one of Arcane, which is a, an original Netflix series based on the League of Legends game. When going into this uh, TV show, the reason why I wanted to get into it is because of the art, uh, design, style, cinematography, and animation. It looked very unique to me, it looked very cool. The score at the very beginning of the episode was insane. It it was so atmospheric it brought me in straight away however the episode took a very different tonal shift throughout which did i like not as much as the as the, as the prologue if you could call it that but it's it's understandable uh, when trying to build these characters and who they are having a massive time jump and it was still still intriguing in terms of story uh, you've got powder who found these blue gems that almost looked like a, almost a military style weaponry that you could use in within weaponry like a very powerful element which could potentially be used for the underground people to fight against and rebel against the top people which i think are they called the top people so that could be a story element that that plays into it later on i'd be very surprised to see if it went down a different route i don't know whether my guess is correct or not or my theory is correct but i'll be intrigued to see how that progresses but then at the very end very surprising a new kind of underground type of gang introduced this new villain so you've got the top people but they seem like the villains at the very start of the episode, but at the very end of this episode, there seems to be a villain of the underground, and they've created some sort of serum that, when ingested, turns you into like this superhuman freak-ish type of thing. Now, I think they're going to put that within the blonde-haired boy that attacks the, um, the main characters, and I'll be intrigued to see if they do that, because... I just thought he was going to be like a throwaway character, but if he comes into it like a, a massive, powerful being that tears through people now, and that would be very interesting. It would be interesting to see how the story arc and the relationship between the protagonists and characters with that character, because they have a history with that character now, so that would be cool to see, I think. But who this guy is with the red eye and what he injected within his eye, I have no idea no idea now those who have watched the games may know some of these answers they may have enjoyed this episode more than myself because they've probably seen some easter eggs or whatnot just looking at the poster for it it says arcane league of legends and the main character's got blue hair but it looks like the girl with red hair so i have no idea what's going on there is it kind of like a Game of Thrones thing? I hope so. I hope there's some stakes. I hope there's some emotionality to it. Because we got a sneak peek of that at the very beginning of the episode. Which I thought, which is what intrigued me and excited me. Some emotion, you know, some drama. Again, the art style is, is incredible. And I'm intrigued about the, the story. For those that have played the games, if you do know what's what, please don't st spoil anything in the comments. I want to be fresh as a daisy coming into this and give you my almost my raw opinions on it as someone that isn't a fan of the games or haven't hasn't played the games give you a different perspective of a, a viewer that just comes into this universe with fresh eyes but i also don't want to on it because i know there would be a lot of fans of the show and i'm not it. i just you know there's a journey that i have to go through from episode one to episode i think there's nine episodes to episode 9 and I have to fully understand that journey before I make my judgement so I might say you know a couple of episodes I might not like a certain thing I might not like other things overall I will trust in the process and make my judgement on whether I like the show or not at the end but anyway I will not be rating this episode but I will be rating the show as a whole thank you for watching this episode and again if you want to watch the full length uh, reaction to this check out my patreon link down in the description below if there are any films that you would like me myself on my own to watch let me know I'll definitely get around to watching those suggestions I might watch certain films I, I, I've been meaning to watch my favorite film of all time the social network and just give you my opinions on that but but anyway thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode thank you very much